Give me another one, barkeep. Well, you did it, little lady. And now you're back again. Did all your dreams come true? We're gonna do the bartender cold open again. Just the perception of the performer and then the space and then the character and vulnerability um, and also the internet. I mean, no one's making you do it, you know? No one's putting a gun to your head, so it's just you, you're driving the ship, you know? You, you don't have to do this. No one's making me do this. No one, you're the only one making yourself do this. No one's putting a gun to my head or making me do this. No one's putting a gun to your head and making you do this. You're, you're in charge here, okay? I don't know. Maybe I should just pack it up. Once again, I mean, it's truly up to you whether or not you want to keep doing this. But also, I just don't think it's very attractive. Ma'am, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. <laughs> um. <laughs> Broadcasting live from New York. Filmed in front of a live studio audience. It's K Night Live! With, from KNFW in the morning, Macy Rodman and Theta Hamill! Faria Khan! Musical guest! Robin Hatch! With Simon Haynes and the DMCA Free Band! <laughs> round and round and round we go! Where we stop, nobody knows except for me! Ow! Ladies and gentlemen, here's your host, K. again to K Night Live. So uh, this is uh, the show. We're all going to have a great time together tonight. I'm going to take everyone out afterwards. <laughs> and we're going to get a big delicious meal for everyone. <laughs> and that delicious meal is going to have multiple courses. <laughs> and if you're wondering, is there going to be a delicious dessert after? Well, listen up, honey. <laughs> Look to your left. Look to your right. You just met the love of your life. <laughs> this is a defining moment, not only for you, but for your entire chosen family. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I'm going to be at your wedding one year from today. I'm going to need three plus ones to your wedding one year from today. 
And I'm gonna need you to provide a grilled cheese bar or a grilled cheese station at the reception afterwards. Grilled cheese. And honey, I'm gonna need that bouquet. We've got an incredible show for you tonight, everybody. From KNFW in the morning, Macy Rodman and Theta Hamill are here, everyone. <laughs> we love Nympho Wars. Uh, the amazing Faria Khan is going to be with us tonight. <laughs> and all the way from Toronto, we have a very special performance from the incredible Robin Hatch. <laughs> I'm going to move over here because the mic's feeding back. <laughs> Back. Give it up for yourselves. We've got a beautiful live studio audience here with us tonight. <laughs> Simon Haynes and the DMCA Free Band. Hey. I didn't think that one needed a tagged music tag. I thought it would just be better. No it tag. Just, it's silence. Yeah, no tag. How's it going, Simon? <laughs> <laughs> Can you ask me again, though, really quick? How's it going, Simon? Uh, good. <laughs> yeah? You've been... You've been a good boy for the last three months? I've been a very good boy. What is this? <laughs> I don't know what this is. This is, is my game because I'm a good boy! <gasps> Someone's definitely getting mommy's little treat later. Woo! Uh, mommy's little treat! We, uh, <laughs> I'm so honored to let you know, sitting with the band tonight, we have the amazing Amir Saknambi here with us tonight. Give it up for Amir Saknambi. Very talented, very talented. And, and this is really a, a crossover event for you, Mirtha, right? This is really something you've been looking forward to, and... Um, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Uh-huh, yeah. What's cooler, like avant-garde jazz or no. DIY? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> You're a accomplished vocalist, right? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. The song at Carnegie Hall, ever heard of it? Could I, could I get a little high C real quick? It's uh, it's it's women's uh, it's women it's women's uh, it's uh, women's it's wem it's women is it women or women? <laughs> it's women's uh, it's women's uh, women's History Month, <laughs> and uh, and the history uh, the, wim, uh, <laughs> the history uh, the history of women uh, is uh, strong. <laughs> uh, the state of uh, the state of uh, uh, women women is uh, strong. Uh, uh, it's women's, uh, and, and women's includes uh, non-binary, right, Simon? Yes, mommy. Uh, women's and non-binary, uh, and trans, and, non and women's, uh, it's women's, uh, it's women's, it's women's, uh, it's women's history month. Uh, uh, <laughs> and I just want to give a big thank you to all our amazing women here on the show, our majority women crew and writing staff. Wow. Wow. And we're proving once and for all that women, and for some reason trans women in particular, can be just as funny as men. <laughs>
women's stories matter. Yeah. Yeah. Right. They just matter. Yeah. <laughs> just a certain kind of, you know, just a je ne sais quoi for the trans women. I can't quite put my finger on it. <laughs> Wellesley College voted this month in a non-binding student referendum to welcome trans and non-binary students to its historically women-only campus, something that apparently necessitated a New York Times breaking news notification. <laughs> now, folks, you're not going to believe this, but we actually have footage from inside the New York Times newsroom from when this story broke. I know that sounds far-fetched, but you're going to have to trust me with this one. It is, this is official exclusive footage from inside of the New York Times newsroom when the Wellesley News broke. <laughs> the final season of Succession airs tomorrow on HBO Max. <laughs> And we are just so excited to follow along with the palace intrigue and inner turmoil of our Roys. We love the Roys, and we're so happy that Succession is back. Watch tomorrow on HBO and stream it on HBO Max. Are you excited, Simon? Are they, are they like paying us? What the fuck? <laughs> Succession on HBO Max. And we love Shiv, and we love Logan. We love Logan, and I guess, I guess you could say my very first suck session is happening after the show. <laughs> All women writing staff, folks. <laughs> Why don't we get the show started? Oh, that's interesting. What's that? Sounded like a text. I don't, just guessing that. <laughs> oh, oh, there it is. <laughs> I just got a text message. Uh, interesting. FBI E. <laughs> Is that cybercrime? Uh, okay, I'm gonna move to the desk. <laughs> Our trusty sidekick, Carly Maruli, is here, everyone. Please give it up for Carly. I don't know if my mic is on, but uh, it, uh, it is. That's beautiful. <laughs> hey, I'm so glad to be here tonight. Um, you know, being your trusty sidekick, it's, uh, it's so exciting. You know, we, we tried this last time, you know, um, I was supposed to be your sidekick, um, and I got bumped by Chelsea Manning, <laughs> right? Um, you know, she was supposed to be the secret guest, um, and, she, and then, you know, she's kind of famous, so you bumped her up to, to sidekick, and which was supposed to be, if you can remember, it, it was supposed to be my part in the last show. I was supposed to be your sidekick. And then Chelsea Manning came in and then she was the <laughs> she was the sidekick actually. So I actually didn't get to be your sidekick last time. Um, but this time it's just me and uh, it's me and you and I will do anything for you um, and with you and, um, and there's gonna be no surprises. And it's just me and you until the end. And, and it's gonna be great. <laughs> So yeah, last time you were here, uh, we, we did bump, uh, you know, I hope you can understand that, uh, you know, having a high profile guest like that, you know, you kind of need to keep it a little bit of a secret, you know, you don't want to have the, the audience mobbing the, you know, the venue or anything, and, sure. and, 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 you, you know, we could have had her on as a normal guest, I, I, that's something that I considered, but you know, really, when you have a high profile guest like that, it's really good to just stretch that mileage out a little bit no, and try I to get, get as it. much and she was time here, as possible. So you, so you, you know, gave her my part. She had her little quips and jokes, and we all heard it, you know. Yeah. No, um, that was that was great, and I get it. But I want to own up to that, you know. And Thank you. Uh, I I just I just want to let you know that <laughs> this bond is unbreakable, and what we have together is that's right is really special. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't Host you, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, it's a special, a special thing. A little hesitant on the, nothing could possibly happen that no, would break the bond I, of our, uh, of... Hey, what's up? Oh my God, it's Will from Chapman. Who is this? Will, Will Menneker, what are you doing here? Uh, you, you asked me to be your, your secret sidekick slash guest oh, host asked? for this no. week's... You wanted me to come on the show, right? Okay. Okay, is that true? God. Fucking damn it. Who, you know what? Who is this? <laughs> I did invite you to come onto the show. 
I'm really, Carly, I'm you, really sorry. There is no I, way. I know the timing could not possibly there be worse. There is no way this is happening again. <laughs> I don't I know, know who this is. <laughs> I don't, I'm not even going to worry about that. But. Will. Will from Chapo. Is that a, ba is it a band? Is it? Close enough. Uh, were you ever in prison? No. No, I wasn't, but, you know, I, I, I host a pretty popular show myself, so, you know, okay, I said, you know, we needed a, a high-profile uh, secret sidekick for today's show, so, you what know. What about our Not bond? Not as high-profile as last time. Yeah, so. right. <laughs> well, what about our sacred bond between host and sidekick? Well, I don't want you to leave. Um, well, I don't it's, really it's okay if she wants to leave, though. <laughs> you, you can leave if you want to. Well, that's the thing I, I, I don't want to leave. Okay. I want to be the sidekick, like... We well, planned. I think it's just a matter of like a screen real estate issue here. You know, we have limited coverage, so we don't okay. want to have to be. Screen, um, okay, so what, what if? <laughs> no, I'm not taking up too much of the, of the screen now. Um, <laughs> Can yeah, I that stay? works. I can stay. Yeah, that's uh, cool. That works for me. Cool. Let's go with me. I think we can that make it. Okay, yeah, that's good. Well, let's give it up for our sidekicks, Will Meneker and Carly Maruli, everyone. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Well, this is awkward. Um, um, wait, uh, Kay, real quick. Um, uh, about about how long do you do you need me for this? I don't know, 90 Not min at all. Ninety minutes. <laughs> All right, um, all right, cool. I thought it was gonna be a, just sort of like a um, smaller bit than that, but um, yeah, <laughs> secret secret sidekick. I guess secret it's I. I mean, I am here, so, I, it's, so it's it's good to be here. So you do this like, it's like a leftist podcast. It de depends on who you ask, but you know. He doesn't even know. <laughs> he doesn't even know. <laughs> but what yeah, he you does. know. Yeah, it's great to be here for the next next ninety minutes. Um, <laughs> it's great to be here, as the uh, as the great Gore Vidal once said, "I never turn down the opportunity to have sex, or appear on a uh, as the fifth guest on a third-rate DIY internet talk show." Hey, man, I'm really sorry, Bernie lost twice, but you know it's <laughs> it's uh, that's that's old news. Okay, that's old news. <laughs> All right, well. Uh, are you excited to follow along with Tom Wambsgans and the rest of the <laughs> Roy clan as we uh, check out this uh, final season of Succession airing tomorrow on HBO Max? It, yeah, it's it's something to watch, you know. Just and you can watch it tomorrow on HBO Max at 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, it's women. It's Women's History Month. Congratulations. It, it's and so it would make a little more sense if if I were actually the sidekick. Maybe. For <laughs> women's history. Women's stories matter. Yeah. Yeah. Right. They just matter. Yeah. Do. <laughs> I'm being visually erased. Not as much reaction from that <laughs> clip as I was expecting. Well, you know what? Listen. Enough with the small talk. Let's get to the big questions. It's time for the quiz. Okay. Women's stories matter. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm getting here, I'm getting there. Where did I go? Hey, Will. Hello, Kay. How's it going? Are you ready? It's, I mean, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm here, I guess I gotta. He's not even ready. Let us begin. In the so after the summer of 2020 protests, it seems like the city of New York 
and the politics of, this, of the city of New York and the Democratic Party at large have kind of just rolled over uh, and, and to kind of just accepted, you know, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, no circles on the screen. No circles on the screen right now. Uh, no circles on the screen, and that is why we find ourselves in a very terrible audio technical visual. Yeah. Bind. So, um, let's figure this one hey, out. Hey, so answer me this. What's a little girl like me doing behind a big desk like this? <laughs> Are you doing the uh, Are you doing the Johnny Carson mind reading bit right now? Or are you just sort of reading the minds of the people watching this right now? Because I think a lot of them are asking the same question. No. Psst. Stupid. <laughs> Fuck me. Sorry. Talk to me about tar. <laughs> Fuck Adam Gopnik. That's what I gotta say about tar. He's platforming an abuser. So fuck Adam Gopnik. <laughs> fuck the New Yorker. Um, good movie though. Big, big fan of big fan of Tar. Big fan of Tar. Did, did you like it? Big fan of Tar. I mean, Kate Blanchett. I'm a big yeah. fan of Tar. That's what you sound like. Did you, did, you, did you even see Tar? Yeah, I saw Tar and I fucking loved it. Yeah, I loved it too. It would mean a little more coming from me, I think. <laughs> but have you ever been a woman in a position of power? I mean. No. No. No, no, I haven't. No, but you would like to be. I mean, I've, I've resented many women in power, but... Friends here tonight. Yeah, she is. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> Enough said. Well, uh, this was a very technically ambitious bit, and uh, it's just simply not working, folks. <laughs> Stop, Live stop, television. Stop. You're being too hard on yourself. I think it's going magnificently. Oh, okay. I think, yeah. I, think this is, I think you've really found a way in on this one. It's Women's She's History Month. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's Women's History Month. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so, 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 you run a pretty successful podcast, right? Uh, with with big players like Spotify, kind of like taking attention away for with with algorithmic kind of like, what do you do to keep engaged? Uh, uh, I mean, like. Or I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What do you do to keep your listeners engaged? I mean, like, you know, just, like, prepare for a show so that, like, when we do a bit, it goes off well. And, like, there's no... Like, you know, if we have a guest, we sort of, like, make them... You know, we tell them what the show is going to be like, and we just sort of keep everyone engaged and having a good time. Like a pre-interview. No, it was just, like... You know, not, not a pre-interview. We just sort of, like... Like I said, um... We, like, you, you said... So like you you prepared for this today? We didn't do a pre-interview. Okay, all right. We didn't do a we didn't do a pre-interview. Yeah, Answer me this. Showed up. Why does the New York Times keep taking big stinky dumpies? <laughs> um, because it, like uh, just because the, the the toilets there like they get clogged up all the time. Um, but yeah, like they they got, like they just need to like they need to shove more shit down the down the shithole. What's your ritual? Who are your guys? How do you stay focused? How do you stay happy? How do you stay in charge? Uh, what's your wind down routine? Muji pens or street easy? Muji like the the, the Muji pens or street easy? Uh, mu uh, mu Muji pens. Muji pens are, and street easy and Spotify are, are my love language. <laughs> All right, sounds good. I guess I'll just leave you alone now. Sorry. Uh, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you got any? You, there are more of these questions. No, that was okay. It. That was it. All right. And you biffed all of them. <laughs> Fucking whiffed it. <laughs> what do you do? Whatever. I mean, like I, 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 do, I guess you could say like sort of a version of of, of this show, but successful oh, yeah? and well regarded. We'll be right back. <laughs>
hammer back. Okay. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, why don't you two get acquainted or something here? We got to uh, fix this. Hey. Problem. Yeah. Well. So what is it? Come town? What are you? What do you want? You want? I'd, say, I'd say we're we we have the taste of Tum Tum Town, but tum in none of the aroma. Tum Town. Tum Town. That sounds like something I would listen to. <laughs> get that going. Yeah, but all right. Give me give me something else. What do you um? Do you have like a line? That, do you have like a catchphrase? Like a. This is your chopper. Oh yeah. Welcome to Chavo. Is that is that actually the tagline? Any listeners? Yeah, come on. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh no, but you said Are it was being very flattered? well is that actually a line and from popular. The <laughs> and no one can say his little funny line uh, from your very popular podcast. I guess it must not be. Mm. We, we, were, we, we, we were profiled in a little, a, a little magazine called Gentleman's Quarterly. Mm. Okay. <laughs> and how's that supposed to make me feel? I mean, you, you tell me. I mean, these are your feelings. That's I could have uh, been in Gentleman's Quarterly, but I signed those rights away a long time ago. <laughs> never sign away. Never sign away any rights. <laughs> like I did what? when I agreed to. Uh, what are you, one of those on TikTok lawyers? Yeah. <laughs> Don't. Do, 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 do. Okay. Uh, can I? See, here's the thing. We were planning for this all week, and there's not really anything going on. What's What's the? I'm sorry to ask you the such on this question. What's going on with the with the the Alvin Bragg, Manhattan attorney? What's the latest? Right. What do you think? Let's get your take. Okay. Well, look, I mean, like, the, you know, the, considering the possibility of, you know, our former president, actually still current president, depending on who you ask, Donald Trump facing uh, yeah. possibly being indicted and sent to prison over hush money paid to porn star Stormy Daniels, I think the, the main thing to think about right now, is, the, the main thing you have to know is that putting Trump in prison would greatly, would greatly enhance his political power, or, or enhance his popularity and political might. Unfortunately, soon thereafter, his physical might will greatly take a nosedive as he stabbed 70 times with a sharpened <laughs> toothbrush. Gen, gen pop. That's yeah. what you think's happening here. He's, uh, folks, he's going down. I know, I, know, I, know, I know we've heard this a lot, but I think this is the one that's finally... This time is this the time one. Is this time is finally time. the one. This, this time is finally the one. Get ready. <laughs> it's molar time. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, like there, there's a good chance there, there is a good chance for the first time in American history, if, uh, a former sitting president will be will be murdered by um, <laughs> will be murdered by a member of a various sort of a prison gang, what kinda, or maybe even the guards. What I mean, kind of guy? Knows? What kind of guy at the prison is the one that's going to be doing the? Like, there's different types of guys. Um, probably. <laughs> is um, it going to be a new type of guy? I mean, it'll, it'll either be black gorilla family, La Ma Mexican mafia. Or just someone paid. Why would these people be in Gen Pop with Donald Trump in downtown Manhattan? Uh, because they're being paid by Mitch McConnell <laughs> to kill him. And the truth comes out. But no, he's, yeah, he's, he's going down, folks. He's going down, finally. At long last. At long last. Interesting. If only there were a kind of bell to save me from this segment of some kind. Ah! <laughs> you know what that means? It's time for the Mayor Watch. see the enjoyment of life as we watch everything from jugglers to tightrope artists to the famous clowns that uh, do the entertainment that keeps us smiling. Our fearless mayor has been having just an absolutely incredible month taking a strong stance on issues ranging from COVID to policing to spiritual matters. Let's take a look. What do we think? He's right. <laughs> He's right.
right. Yeah. And, you know, I, I think, like, uh, you know, he's right. This Spike Einbinder did not want to do this segment. You're on my side. We yeah. think he's a great guy, yeah. right? He's yeah. doing a great job, folks. Right? We love Eric. Yeah. And uh, he's exactly right. Uh, the state is the body, and the heart is the Church of Latter Day Saints. Oh yeah, is I, that your church, Will? I mean, I, I, no, it's not my church, but you know, it is. It What's is, your God, Will? It's America's church. <laughs> Who are, Can you say a little about oh, your God? My God. Who are yeah. your guys, Will? Um, <laughs> Whatever or whoever she is, that's uh, no, no, no. That's pandering. That's whatever. you don't say that when you're alone. You yeah. don't say that shit. When All right. Well, wh whoever he is, he's not answering my prayers right now. So. Yeah. Well. He, uh, whoever he is, he has forsaken me. Well, you keep taking women's jobs. Yeah. So. The mayor's also working on a, on it. crime with a novel approach to masking. They did seven other robberies. If we're able to identify their face fast enough, we're able to broadcast it on TV. We're not asking the bodega to tell the person when they walk in, hey, so you have to take off your mask. There's a sign at the door that the bodega association helped us create. That my my spider senses will go up if you're telling me, no, I'm not willing to show you who, who I am. Spidey senses. Yeah, I'd like to thank a uh, sponsor senses. of today's show, the Bodega Association. <laughs> <laughs> They're great people. Give it up for them. Agnes. We love those chopped cheeses. How many times have you run to the Bodega today, uh, Agnes? Like four. Four, okay. Yeah. <laughs> The mayor is also on location with Governor ha Kathy Hochul to unveil an OM. Oh, I'm sorry, wait. You know what, actually? Can we cut back? There is a, you saw that on his podium, uh, herefromeric.com. Uh, we actually went to herefromeric.com, and I want everyone to do this right now. Uh, you can get the latest from Mayor Adams directly in your inbox. So sign up at herefromeric.com. Uh, the mayor was also on location with Governor Kathy Hochul to unveil an update to the famous Milton Glaser I Love New York logo with staggering results. What do we think about this, folks? <laughs> Terrible. Wait, wait, hold on. Terrible. Bit of, a, bit of a mixed response here. Mm -hmm. this, is the, uh, this is the same designer you guys use for this show? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's pretty it's good. It's me. I it's designed the show. Uh, well, let's hear what the governor had to say. Listen, everybody, 1970s, most of you don't even remember it, okay? That's fine. We are the coolest place on the planet to live. I think that's, that's pretty much well known. My God, it took me an hour to get out down the street. It was so crowded here. I loved it. I loved it, the MTA. It's all about music, too. We love our music here. And let's hear what Eric Adams had to say. And people wonder all the time, why are you walking around so happy? And we took the I out of I love New York and we brought the we. Spend money, spend money, spend money. <laughs> I, That's I, an inspiring I love our message. Mayor. He is he is the weirdest man who has ever been New York City mayor, and we've had Michael yeah. Bloomberg, Rudy Giuliani, Ed Koch, and uh, Bill De Blasio. I think, was, I think it was I think it was Maddie Lukansky on Twitter that said, "We've had dumbass mayors, we've had evil mayors, but this is our first evil dumbass mayor." <laughs> you know, you say that, but I agree with him. I agree with him about masks. Like we've gotten the, the mask situation in New York has gotten out of control, and it's leading to crime. Like, <laughs> it's leading oh, yeah? to crime. I mean, like, just the other night, I was, you know, I was, I was out with Catherine. We were at a nightclub, and then a gentleman wearing a mask and a big yellow suit walked in and just started doing cartoon-style hijinks, hit me in the head with a giant mallet, wolf whistled at my girlfriend, then his tongue unrolled like a roll of toilet paper. And, uh, yeah, er Eric Adams, uh, yeah, I support you. 
I support you in your war on the mask. <laughs> I support his war on uh, militant veganism. It's about habit forming and just like living a healthier yeah. life. Oh, speaking of, uh, it's, it's Women's History Month. I don't know if you have this queued up, but uh, Eric Adams announced that he has chosen uh, a new, or uh, actually the first time ever, the inaugural rat czar of the city of New York. And he says, he doesn't have a name yet, but he will tell you, he says it is a lady. So, so the first rat czar of New York lady will be a lady. Ladies you know, and gentlemen, our rat czar of New York, yeah. Carly Maruli. I mean, I mean, like, I mean, I like, okay, like, she, she'll, need, she'll need a job, right? Like, so she can, oh, she can, so she can do the rat czar, hey, not the, not the co-host. Yeah, hey, not the co-host. Okay, no yeah. leaning in. No little asides. No little whispering asides. Everything I get to hear. I get to hear it all. Well. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Smoke it. <laughs> well, we wish him nothing but the best. Keep building, King. And that was the Mayor Watch. Our first performer of the evening is an extremely funny comedian whose solo, so I actually don't feel that good, premieres on, you guessed it, 420 at Union Hall. Please give a warm welcome for Faria Khan, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, hey, is this one up? Can you hear me? Yeah, I guess. Um, is it working? Hello? OK. <laughs> Wait, hello? Okay, this is a good opportunity while you bring this up for us to try to play your intro music. Okay, really yeah. Actually, it actually didn't hear it. Yeah, OK, here we go. Hello? One, two, three, four. <laughs> no, we're doing a uh, really song. OK, is this one? One, two, three. New York Jazz Jam. Cigarettes and coffee by Otis Redding. Give it up. Is it not working? I think it's on. Hello? It's Two on. girls, one mic. Wait. Hello? Hello. Okay, I think this is it. All right, everybody. <clears throat> okay, well, thank you so much um, for the intro, guys. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm feeling really good. This is crazy. This is, I can't believe I'm here. <laughs> I seriously, I can't fucking believe it. I wore this jacket just to feel a little bit more, um, power. You know what I'm saying? You guys all look good tonight. <laughs> I am intimidated. <laughs> um, remember when Kay made out with Corey? That was crazy. <laughs> Are you guys like... Are you guys dating? It's Bisexual History Month. Oh! Okay, that's cool. Um, Carly, I'm sorry for how they've been treating you. I thought that was kind of fucked up, to be honest, just because that dude's on Chapo Trap House or whatever. Yeah. Oh, he's back. Okay, hey, man. Um, well, I guess I'll say this. I guess I'll say this. Um, you know, I came out here to talk to you guys about the truth. Um, it's actually what I'm about. Um, I came out here to take off the mask that society forces us to wear. And I'll say, my self-esteem, it's up and down. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my self-esteem, uh, it's, it's not always great. I'll tell you that straight out the gate. I know you're looking at me, you're thinking what? With those big naturals in a style that I can only call innate? <laughs> Something that cannot be taught but can be learned. <laughs> a swag. A swag that might blow some people away. I know you're looking at me, you're thinking, she's not that confident. Well, <laughs> um, you know it's complicated. Um, sometimes I feel good about myself, sometimes I don't. Um, that's why I'm working on a show it's about, thank you, Kay, for the plug. I actually don't feel that good. Yeah, so I'll tell you what. My self-esteem, it's sort of like a uh, former third-party presidential candidate, Gary Johnson, running in 2016. <laughs> Not sure if you might be familiar, sir. Um, 2016, pretty contentious election. Not sure who re remembers that one. Uh, 
I don't know how old some of you guys are. <laughs> but it was, it was rough. <laughs> it was rough. It's crazy, man, actually. It's crazy. It was very contentious. And this guy, this nice old man named Gary Johnson, right? He was running on some kind of platform made of weed, something nice like that. He's running, he's running so fast. Oh my God. He almost made it, actually, you know? <laughs> he was actually on, he was on the national news, kind of the big boy part of the whole thing. And um, the reporter on the news said, hey, Gary, how do you feel about Aleppo? Uh, and he goes, what's up? <clears throat> <laughs> and the reporter's like, are you being serious right now? And Gary, my guy, thinking on his feet, smoking that sativa. <laughs> he was like, no, I love Aleppo. <laughs> um, and the reporter was like, you love the humanitarian crisis killing hundreds of thousands of innocent civilians in Syria? And he was like, what's up? <clears throat> So, uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is, uh, you know, I kind of sometimes I have the confidence of a white man running third party for president. <laughs> and other times I'm like, what's Aleppo? <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually don't know how to read. <laughs> so. All right. <laughs> well, okay, yeah, so I, I don't know how to read that good, but um, I did just find out I have uh, undiagnosed ADHD. Just learned this. Yeah, thank you. Some fans, yeah. I got uh, got diagnosed in the car by my friend the other day, so. <laughs> Needless to say, like you, I'm shocked. I, I didn't see it coming. Um, but, you know, I guess it does make sense because I am bisexual. <laughs> Things took a turn. <laughs> it's bisexual history month. Thank you, Kay. It's bisexual history month. It's bisexual women's history month. And, which is good. I think it's good for everybody. And I think it's okay to be gay. It's no problem at all. It's okay. It's okay. So you should be yourself. You should feel free to be yourself. You know what I mean? Of course, until you touch base with the other side of the country. The country's divided. Now we're circling back. You guys are feeling me on this. <laughs> the country's divided. It's rough. It's not good. I'll tell you that. This guy, you must know Chapo. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> a lot of you guys don't have a very friendly look in your eyes. I'm just gonna tell you that. Okay. <laughs> it's the lights are too bright to be looking anyone dead in the eyes tonight. Okay. So uh, here's what I'll say about that. I'm bisexual, like I said, and I was I was trying to get here right. I, I got a little bit confused, got turned about. Uh oh, my little lady brain <laughs> couldn't handle it. And um, I say, excuse me, sir. I found this nice little man. I say, excuse me, sir. I I'm trying to get over to Life World. I gotta, I gotta do my sets. K Night Live, you know. <laughs> I said, I gotta go there. I gotta do my set, you know. And and they said, he said, uh, he said to me, he said, uh, what are you, one of those queers? <laughs> <laughs> and I looked him dead in the eyes, and I said, yeah, actually, yeah, I'm swinging both ways, you know. <laughs> If that gives you something to swing in on in, t in terms of an understanding. Um, <laughs> by erasure, I'm doing the work. God bless. <laughs> and, and, uh, he said, okay. and he said to me, he said to me, he goes, he goes, well, there's more than two genders, so how about that? <laughs> woof, okay? Woof. This guy was woke. I didn't see that coming, you know what I mean? <laughs> And I did what every American should. I uh, struck up a conversation, took him out to get a couple zaws, get to know each other, dialogue, and that's how I met my now best friend, uh, former basketball legend, Larry Bird. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> he's gonna be at my birthday party this year, so y'all should try to be on my good side. <laughs> Um, I guess I'll just sort of close it out here with this, you know. Um, I'm coming up on uh, 10 years in New York City. Can you believe it? <laughs> really? Me and Kay are like, we're like simpatico. <laughs> oh my God. Might be me and Kay making out next. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> Unless that's what you want, we can discuss. Okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's all focus up. It's Women's Bisexual History Month. Yeah, well... I'll tell you this, I'm coming up on 10 years. You guys heard of this? Anybody been in New York 10 years? Yeah. 
You know what it's like. It's not easy, folks. It's not easy. Every night. You know what I mean? It's hard. It's not always It's not always fun. Here's the thing. It's, it's some, di- some days you're in the city, you're thinking, this is the best city in the world. It's beautiful. Anything could happen. Look at this. K-Night Live tonight. Other days you're getting shit on by Eric Adams thinking, what the hell? You know? And I'll tell you what, for me, it's the constant rejection. I I am a cancer moon. I'm very sensitive. Y'all heard of this? Yeah. Very sensitive. (laughs) And um, I got this uh, this email. I struggle with the rejection. I'll tell you that. I got this email today. Subject line, no. (laughs) I opened it up, and it's actually from one of my old buddies, my my early comedy buddies before he blew up. Pizza Rat. (coughs) (laughs) And he actually just hit me up to say that he still doesn't fuck with me and he has (laughs) an overall deal with Peacock and he hates my guts. (laughs) So trust me when I say, it's it's been a long journey, but it's good to keep trying and it's good to chase your dreams every single day. (laughs) Well, (laughs) thank you guys, that was my time. (laughs) Maria, come on everybody, why don't you take a seat? Thank you so much. Thank you. Sexy. I'm really happy you're here. Thanks, I'm happy to be here. Look at all of us. Uh, This is crazy. This guy's so comfortable. (laughs) Ben, am I right? (laughs) I have to take off the jacket because I feel hot, but you guys get the point. Before you can see how I feel on the inside right now. Wow, this mic is loud. What's wrong with the mic? Oh, yeah? Well, you can just make an adjustment like that. You don't need to hold it yeah. right next to your mouth. Professional. I know you're probably used to a, po- they a don't podcast They do that shit on mic. Chapo. That's right. That's right. <laughs> they don't do that. Uh, yeah, they make your little adjustments for you, I guess. I'm sorry about that. A Bernie lost, too. <laughs> yeah, no. Do you think he has a chance? Do I think Bernie has a chance? Yeah. <laughs> No. Uh, with me. <laughs> with me? Yes. Oh! He's yeah, old. I bet he, he's going to be the next. <laughs> he'll be the next sidekick. She's going to have him on the next uh, show, I guess. Now, you two are actually friends. Me and Nam with it? That's actually racist. How did I know you were going to say that? We're not from the same town or some shit. If that's what you do. But think. you are actually friends. Yeah, we actually are. Oh. We hang out. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we, we all do know each other. Yeah, we actually, I'm actually, hey guys, what's up? Hey, you, what's up? I, I, met, I, haven't, I don't know if we've met before. The sax guy? Is that a sax? <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. Where'd you, where'd you learn to play that? Uh, the horn school. What? The horn school. You hear that, Freya? That's so crazy. Horn school. Oh, horn I like the school. horns. I think the horns is very cool. Yeah, they're all right. Cool. Nice to meet you. Yeah, what's your name? Faria. Oh, right. <laughs> what's your name? What's your name? My name? Yeah. Uh, Gabe. Okay, what's up, Gabe? What's up? <laughs> nice to meet you. Who's these guys in the back? You think the bass is cool, or? No, uh, yeah, no, Simon, I thought the bass was cool. Remember when I saw you on the street two weeks ago and you were, like, kind of drunk with a hot babe and you are like, I'll see you at the show. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Who was that? Simon's Simon wife to is horny crazy. School. <laughs> Simon's a fucking rock star. Right. <laughs> he was just, like, drunk, like, hot babe. I was like, what? Wait, so she was, like, really drunk? <laughs> Do you want to <laughs> <laughs> say more about that? It's Bisexual Women's History Month, man. Bisexual. Yeah, we were pretty drunk, both of us. Yeah, no. That doesn't make it better. No, it doesn't. Okay, Okay, nothing weird happened. No, I didn't think so. Carly made it weird, I thought. Why'd you do that? I made it weird? No, just kidding. I I was just getting all the facts straight, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? No, I like that about you. What do you think about this, Will? You know, like, uh, it's nice when people meet each other and, uh... <laughs> are you with anyone right now? Yeah, I am. She's here tonight. Who, who are your wife? Stand up. Stand up, Where's the wife? 
Oh, that's you. Uh, she didn't want to stand up, um, but she waved. Uh. She didn't want to stand up. We'll, we'll see how we'll see how much longer this lasts after my appearance on this program. <laughs> Are you still proud of him, even though he sits like this on a show full of ladies? <laughs> I don't think she's liking she's that. She's doing Mr. the gladiator Chapo. thumb right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're gonna need to think about that. I'm gonna think well, about a lot of things right now. Here's the thing, Kay. I actually brought, um, if you don't mind. Oh. I brought some. I brought some promo cards for my big show. Oh actually. yeah. There you go. You can have one. And uh, there you go, Mr. Chapo. Here, Carly. <laughs> Give this one to the to the jazz guys. Yeah. It's for the dead. All right. So that's just something I want to tell you all about. Wait, um, there's a QR code here. Can you zoom in? We got, where's the you zoom can get lens? a ticket where's at the, the link lens? right there. You get it on this one? Now that is, yeah, I'm going back to, like, that. what is this, And now 99? if you're watching at home, <laughs> you, can, you can tag here. You could go ahead and scan that right now if right you want now. to. You can scan it. Tickets at the link, no problem. They're nice cameras. Yeah, this is crazy, Kay. I can't believe you guys wow. pulled this off, honestly. <laughs> Is this going to be a joke? No, no, no. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> we were, like, flirting big time earlier. I don't know if you Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> I'm sorry, Corey. Oh! Oh. Seems like you just received an email. Oh. <laughs> I, again, I don't know what the FBI E is. OK, you're having trouble with the FBI? Yeah. FBI E, it says. Uh, you, like if, just you know, I'm throwing it out here. Like if uh, if you're in trouble, and let's say for instance you'd like to uh, escape or change your identity, I think I could probably help you out with that because I'm uh, considering doing the same after this airs. Uh -huh. <laughs> the Chapo guys are mean, aren't they? I didn't Chelsea know about was that. way meaner, to be honest. So I think we're okay. <laughs> she was. That's what you learn in prison. <laughs> We'll be right back. <laughs> Heineken. Come here, buddy. Let's go, bud. Heineken. Come here, buddy. Come here, bud. Come on. Fuck. Ah. Ah. Fucking piece of shit. Fuck. Heineken. I'm just screaming like a fucking idiot. I don't fucking know. I don't know. He's a good breed. They're supposed to be a sociable English breed. He's supposed to be a well-trained fucking dog. He's not supposed to run off like a fucking idiot. I like, fucking hate him. Maybe you could come help or I don't know. Maybe you should like, call the police or something. I don't know. Everybody's fucking looking at me weird. Hide again. Hide again. Come here, boy.
Could you, could you, uh, could you do it in Lydian? Uh, Could you do it in Lydian? One, two, in Lydian. Here we come. <laughs> quick, I'm going to just hop in a quick bass solo here while we have some free time to kill. It goes like this. That wasn't Lydian. Can we do it in minor? Sure. One, two, one, two, three, four. Spaghetti. the build-up thing again? Those are keys. Those are concepts, man. I love jazz. Uh, should we do the build-up thing again? Bridget. 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 Oh, fuck. Oh, so we're dude. taking modes from the audience now. We're taking modes from the audience now. What? We're taking modes from the audience now. Okay, here's a mode. Uh, unexcited. Get your shit together! One, two, three, four. <laughs> All right, we're gonna um, we're gonna play another John Williams song in the meantime. That's gonna be that's gonna matter later. What? Who is saying this? <laughs> we only invented Star Wars. You guys ready to play the Cantina Band song? <laughs> <laughs> what if we just didn't play it now because we got it all? Okay, ready? <clears throat> Which version should we do? Original, disco, or if Blink One Eighty Two was playing? Okay, raise your hands for original. Zero fucking people. Okay. Raise your hand for disco. Like 10 people. Pretty good. Raise your hand for Blink-182. <laughs> wow. Uh, we can't do it because Will from Chapo wants to do it, and we have, to, we have to degrade him. Let's just do all three, okay? Here's the original version. One, two, one, two, three, four. Disco version. One, two, three, four. Time for the Blink-182 one? <laughs> okay, here's the Blink-182 one. Ready? All the small things. <laughs> Here we go. At what tempo should we do this at? Come on. One. <laughs> No, metal. no, no, we're done with that. <laughs> okay, with the thrash metal. Oh, no. No, no, we're not gonna. No, with the thrash metal we're version. We're not gonna do the thrash really metal version. You're not gonna be able it. to tell this is the song. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a high C? What's going on here? 
This is this is live television, folks. All right, listen, listen. Our next guest came all the way from Toronto to see us today, and she's going to be demonstrating some all-new technology in the field of music for us this evening. Here with a peek behind the magic, please welcome Robin Hatch. So, uh, oh yeah, you probably need a microphone. I'm not playing any audio. Check one, two. She's working on it. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm doing fine. So you have some incredible technology for us to do. There's all these gizmos and gadgets and little <laughs> buttons and whiz knobs. Yep. And what's, what's going on here? This is all new technology. Uh, this is an EMS Synthi um, from 1972. And, uh, because uh, it... It's a suitcase, and it comes with this built-in sequencer, which itself is uh, somewhat broken. So I've been uh, using my Mac uh, to kind of broken. fix it, but uh, also now broken. So, um, which shows, you know, all technology eventually gets bricked and outdated. Um, but when you're bringing synthesizers from the 1970s across international borders, and it doesn't work on the other side, what can you do? You know. <laughs> so, so what? So what does this stuff do here? What is that? Um, so instead of being patched like a traditional modular synth with cables, um, you use pins sort of like in Battleship. Um, I know. And uh, you know, oh, you know that already? Oh, <laughs> uh, I forgot you went to school for music, of course. Um, did it, is it true you dropped out of Berkeley like three, three times? times? Three times. Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Three times. I hear that's, that's cooler though, right? Um, well, if you graduate, it's because you're not really good. But uh, <laughs> just, a little, just a little tip. What, is this, what does this do? Um, so this is a joystick, so you can control. Uh, I mean, maybe we could get some sound. Mm -hmm. sound. Yeah. Um, I know what it does. Stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it does. Sorry. It's pretty cool. So it's like a toy. Yeah, it's like a toy. <laughs> so you brought a forty-year-old toy. Whoa. It's almost 50 years old, 70 years old. Oh, right, right. Sorry. <laughs> you know, it's like 2003 was like five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> and what is this right here? Um, this is a Prophet 12. So uh, this is this is mine. But uh, <laughs> it uh, it's kind of just a classic, you know, signature synth that you'd find in. Uh, and when Dave Smith put his signature on the synth, <laughs> that's a signature <laughs> synth. <laughs> no kidding. How many voices does this synthesizer have? Um, so it has 12 voices. I know. So, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I've played one of these many times. So, uh, what, what can you tell me about it? Well, uh, there's a desktop module, so you've been lugging this thing around for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> there's probably a plug-in, too, actually. Yeah, there certainly is. Uh, but, uh, and, uh, and what about, well, yeah. <laughs> I guess we'll see how this goes. Um, and you got little stickers on the, your sequencer there. It's cute. Thank you, yeah. It's, uh, you know, Women's History Month and so on. Yeah. <laughs> you know Will, too, right? I do know Will, yeah. This is like Twitter Hi, Robin. live right now. He follows me. Everyone. <laughs> Robin, uh, who's your favorite woman? Mm. My mother, I guess. You know. Wonderful. Yeah. It's not Mother's wonderful. Day. Wonderful. Okay, it's not Mother's Day. It's, it's Women's History Month. Yeah. Sarah Pauly, you know, great Canadian, just won the Oscar for women talking. <laughs> we're just grasping at straws. We're we're not we're never gonna go back to a pre Musk Twitter. Like, what we had is slipping through our fingers, and this, and all of us, this is an act of desperation, a, a, a cry for attention. Oh, I'm doing fine. I've uh, completely had to change everything I worked on today, and uh, I think everything's going to be all right. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as, as they say uh, in modular synth, it's all about happy accidents. These aren't modular synths. <laughs> so this is a this is a built-in uh, subtractive synthesizer. It, well, it's like yeah, it's like digital analog. This has know? a built-in keyboard. This isn't a modular synthesizer. It's sort of yeah. Like, yeah, it's like analog, yeah. you know. Yeah. Got warmer tone. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> and when this was made, they didn't really call it like modular. No, they, I think you know they made this as like an educational tool for kids to learn about synthesizers. Yeah, how many kids learned synthesizers from that? <laughs> you know, a lot of kids like Brian Eno and Aphex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, little baby Aphex twin on the synthy. Oh, he's so adorable. Oh, little Richard D. James, there he is. Oh, why don't you make me some dwelly Mernins? <laughs> All right, well, uh, is, how, about, how about some sound? How about a little demonstration again? All right, so is it still working? Good. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, should be good. Thank you. Beautiful. Robin Hatch, everyone. We'll be right back. Thanks for coming on a date with me. Would you like to see my shaved Alvin and the Chipmunks fan art? 
Yeah, I've drawn thousands of pictures of Ellen and the chipmunks with no body hair. Uh, excuse me? Just a minute. And I spent all my time on the shaved chipmunks forums debating whether they were shaved with an electric razor or with a... Goodbye. Welcome to our date. Before we get started, just know that I will not be going on a second date with you if you're a toxic shaved Chippendales Rescue Rangers fan. Anyway, here's a drug of Ellen and the chipmunks with no hair. Goodbye. Okay, today's date is someone I met using Pure, the dating app that provides an open, honest, and safe space to connect with like-minded people and encourages freedom of expression and inclusivity. Hello. Oh, hi. Yes, before we get started, would you like to see a picture I drew of? Please don't say shave Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Please don't say shave Chippendale. Shave Alvin and the Chipmunks. Yes. And we are back once again. Our next guests are incredibly talented performers and musicians in their own right. They are hosts of the critically acclaimed Nympho Wars podcast and are now the biggest thing in long haul trucker radio for the flyover country. From KNFW in the morning, please welcome Macy Rodman and Theta Hamill. <laughs> Thank you, Kay. Thank you for being here. Are we happy to have them here? I mean, come on. You can't get, it doesn't, it doesn't get any better than Please. this. What? Yes. What? Uh, how are you doing? <laughs> we are doing so well. We're doing so good. Yeah. We're doing so well. It's hot in here, much hotter so than it hot was outside. <laughs> Can you believe it? But I run naturally quite warm. <laughs> so I'm just going to remove a layer and uh, settle in. <laughs> and settle in we will. We're in such a good place. You actually. are in such a good place. We are. You are. We, we are in such a good place. Yeah. And it's timing out so, working out so well that we can come be on this show. That is so funny right that you now. said the physical place that we're in. That is what, why we <laughs> love Kay. Kay is so funny. And just shining your light so brightly. And it's a, it's a that's a difficult light. thing to do. That's God working through you. <laughs> That is God's light reflected through the mirror of your heart, as Father McGuire would say. Father McGuire. <laughs> Father McGuire, whose mirror, you know whose mirror is so shiny. Uh, I'm not familiar with Father McGuire. Father McGuire, everybody. <laughs> Father McGuire is. <laughs> <laughs> we. You can explain. You we're can explain. here. We're here to talk to everyone to enjoy the show. We're also here to. Bring the message of Father McGuire, our Father, Father McGuire. So this is a religious to figure. Live television. It's a religious priest. It's He's a, a young a religious priest. priest. <laughs> He's a young priest. Yes. He doesn't have a church, but he works. He is ordained. He's ordained. He's ordained by. He's Catholic. He's Catholic. He's Catholic. He's Catholic. He's Catholic. He's a church. Catholic. By He's the a church in Catholic Rome. Church. By the by the Pope. <laughs> but he he's a gig worker like the rest of us. He right. does. He does um, like freelance, Christ, like freelance, Christ. like that? Christ, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we've both been going to him a lot, and it has just turned everything around. N <laughs> Woo! It just turned everything around. He's um, he's such a he has so much power. <laughs> 
He's such a I short love it. man. I love it. I love it when we he get to talking so, about it. He's as short as a child. And he's like this tall, like and this he's tall. Young, he's young like a child, but he's he, he's like he's like a father. He's like the father that There's I no never had. There's no mistaking the energy. It's father energy. It's fatherly, godly energy. He has brilliant blue, bright, shining eyes and soft, dewy, damp, almost skin. Clammy. It's yes. Hot, clammy, cl- clammy nipples, clammy hands. Hot nipples. Hot to like, the touch. Um, uh, like a so- stove top. Yeah. <laughs> He's sick of- Kay looks yeah. incredulous, and I did too before, before when I first heard I about know, Father McGuire. You know, when you're in the room with someone who's that charismatic, things kind of just melt away. And I, I, know. I think I'm just having trouble visualizing what's going on. <gasps> exactly. I love these. He's oh, so can I? So May I actually I? have, you're not going to believe, I have the KNFW uh, drop. Can you that. believe it? And I hold the cards. It's expensive to be me. <laughs> It's I love it. That is God's why love working why through don't, you. Why don't oh, okay. Y'all, uh, take take over. Oh, okay. Yeah. All yeah. right. There you go. I love it. There you go. <laughs> is this really though the best use of? <laughs> Macy, is this the best use of our time? Is this the best use of our platform? I don't know. Be- well, tell Doing me about, our little tell me sound effects father. and talking. You might be, you might be right. You might be right. Well, uh, did you? Um, I wanted to come to talk about His Word. I wanted to come. To, I wanted to share the prayer in my heart for God that I have gotten from the prayer in Father McGuire's heart for God, which is very Absolutely. great. Absolutely, it's a great prayer. It's immense. It's immense. As Betty Hutton once said of Cecil B. DeMille, he has great <laughs> prayer in his heart for God. And Great that's how I feel about Father McGuire. And he is a, like, <laughs> he's a sh- <laughs> That's not one of our soundboards. I think so, yeah. That is? Yeah, it's for when people say bad words. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. Okay. Well, I don't but know. But Father this. McGuire, big fat thighs. <laughs> he does have big, meaty thighs because he's very strong. For a man his size, he w- works out very hard, very vigorously. Really hard. Really big feet, too. He has to tape t- a couple of pairs of shoes together. <laughs> his feet are enormous. To fit his feet. You He's would think he was part frog or something if he wasn't oh, such a perfect you're, human specimen. You're cutting the shoe down the middle hot dog style? Exactly. Well, you could. You could. Exactly. <laughs> You could cut it a hot dog style, yeah. But that would be the wrong thing to do. <laughs> you want to go hamburger <laughs> so that you can style. envelop the foot from the other, cradle uh, it, kind uh, of. It's not, a, it's not a long foot. It's a big foot. It's a round foot. It's exactly. like a big saucer. So yeah. you're not going to want to go hot dog style, I mean, although, like I said, you could. And he has. He went through that phase for a while. He we went through that phase for a while. <laughs> The thing is, we don't go together. Well, I we like don't to go spread out during prayer. We like to spread out. We like to kind of put our phone over here. I like to put my bag over there. I like to grab a bottle of water. I like to sit down. So we don't like to go together. It's too much. It's too much. And we also like to look directly into it. That's why we're wearing these glasses. <laughs> is because he doesn't like us to actually look anyone else in the eye. Because no. we look at him directly in the eye. And that is... <laughs> great. He's a great man, a great priest, and a great father. What? I haven't seen your pupils since you arrived. Well, that's what? See? Exactly, precisely. It's It's called called the doctrine. It's called prayer. God's love. (laughs) (laughs) I just... Oh, no. I I want... What happened? Oh, uh, what's going on It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. okay. It's okay. God... No, no, Isn't that great? Don't do Isn't that he that. amazing? <laughs> God's love. That's you God's love. You have an amazing musical through. talent, and you're 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 making these jokes and these gags, and you could be expressing something true and something beautiful. <laughs> and you're doing this. Uh, you're making jokes. You're making light of your I talent. Can't that I can't express anything true or beautiful. That's what you think now. <laughs> See, look at that. That is. I think you're selling uh, yourself. That's channeling. Short. That's channeling. And I, just think, a lot, I, know, I felt that there was. We were watching. We were watching from 
outside on the television. And I, we were hearing just a lot of negativity between the people on mic in here. And I just felt that that was so, I thought it was so strange because. It, I thought it was really weird. And how you said you liked the mayor, but you, but the, I don't think that you actually like the mayor. I don't think you like the mayor. I, I think you actually like each other. I think you were lying. I think, I think you get along well. I think you don't like the mayor. And I think that, I think. I think that trans women are men. <laughs> she said it. She said it. Finally, someone can speak up. I'm really glad that. You, thank you for saying that. Thank you for saying that. I I have to take a shit. I'll be right back. Okay, all right. Women's, Women's stories, stories matter. matter. Yeah, yeah, they just matter. Yeah. 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 So we were going in on some ceviche well, I, I, outside. <laughs> I feel like we really just hit on something like fundamental to our experience. Which what? There's which, a certain something. Which part? The, the, the <laughs> profound statement you just made. OK, yes. But in fairness, that's not my uh, philosophy. That's, I'm getting that from father. father. I'm getting that from father. <laughs> he says that he will usually, when I, would, I have my head on his I was raised a Southern Baptist, so I have a. Uh, not <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> what? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Macy. Hi, I'm CFR. No, I can't do it. You I can't, can't do it. That's not it's God's love it's working. Not real. It's not God's That's love working not through Sia. me. I almost, you know, they almost, they tried to pressure me to do it, and I, I wanted to be agreeable, but I can't do. We do a funny Sia impression on our show. On the program. So I wanted to bring it here. But I just, I can't do it. I can't do be in good faith with you people. You're all such. You know, I can't do it. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. And I mean that. Really? <laughs> I mean that. I mean that. All of you. All of you are so beautiful. Oh! Me. <laughs> we take your jobs. That's amazing. This That's is what amazing. you're doing to your talent, to yourself, and to your talent. I'm sad she's gone. I was really excited. You know, we have what? These, we well, take your drops and your characters. We can do it. We can like, do it. We can do it. It's okay. It's okay. I think this is. Now I feel like a bad, I think this is a bad idea, frankly. <laughs> yeah, ask, ask me anything. So I'm saying if there are like AC. <laughs> what? It's okay. It's okay. It's well, okay. <laughs> uh, Don't tell Father McGuire. Uh, what was it like working with Rihanna? Rihanna didn't like autism as much as I do. <laughs> so it was quite difficult, to be honest. It's pretty hard. Yeah. She does love autism. <laughs> and I can imagine uh, you. there's probably a lot of songs you've been involved with that we don't know about. Ghostwriting. There's a lot, yeah. Is <laughs> there's a whole lot of them. Is, are, is there anything, maybe you can give us a peek behind the curtain at like one of the productions you might have worked on that you may have not have known that she was involved with? It was one I wrote for Joe Jonas. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to... <laughs> yeah, you I like it. it sure, could sure. Guys, give me a blink. This is actually very. This is a great. Could we? Could you do just a, you know, a simple Sia progression? <laughs> a sort of a simple Sia progression. There's, 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 there's optimism. We're getting somewhere. We're about to do something. And we're right as you're about to do, do it, okay. it loops back to the beginning. <laughs> So this is mo this is not the Joe Jonas song. This is because we this forgot. Well, right she forgot for, it. All right for Joe Jonas. But this is how she wrote it. I like my brothers and I wanna lick their balls. And when I don't see their piss slid at all, that's when I get remade. Real man, I wanna see his piss lit because he is my brother, and that's so hot to me, hot to me. I like to see the pee come from the slit of my brother's penis, and I lick it off the floor. I picture him as a little boy, and that's what makes it sexy to me. Anybody know sign language? <laughs> that was an incredible performance. 
The Australian genius, Sia Furler. But that's kind of what we do on our show. Right, 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 right. right. Little funny, little funny sketches like that. It's very, it's trivial. But we are trying to vibrate higher. We've been, we've been with uh, McGuire for a while. Um, you have a really deep connection with them. We both do. Of, both of you have a really deep. Connection I know what with you're Robert thinking, McGuire. though. I know. I know the co the comedic <laughs> thing to think is. Um, this fell over twice earlier today. I feel yet, protected. I feel stands. protected. And yet it stands now. And yet. It's kind of a water to wine situation, is what I'm feeling right now. Yes. So it'll be okay. We know what you're thinking. Though. We know you think it's sexual. I can tell that. Yeah. You I know that. I you actually think didn't that think that. You think two trans women can't hang out, spend hours of time with a, a young, attractive, ripped priest with us. With we don't actually know how young. We're guessing 20. He's obviously he's gone through divinity school in some capacity. Right. Right. He he looks ageless in a way that all sort of priests. Look ageless. Yes, yes. He has these rough, rough hands. Rough hands, but rough super hands. oily. <laughs> really oily, emanating a lot of oil. Yeah. So the point is, you just can't imagine that p two people in our position would spend all this time around a young man uh, like this, and, and that it wouldn't be sexual. But I promise you, he's not a... He's, you he's think we're just here to suck, uh, suck a lot of cocks? K-N-F-W in the he's, morning. Long haul trucker radio for the flyover this is country. So, <laughs> so cheap. It's so cheap. The point is that he's uh, he's much more than a husband or a boyfriend ever could be to someone. Those in are our time position. fillers. Those are just time fillers to fill up your life so that you have someone to go home to and and split a bank account with, and then break up with them, and get your own bank account again. That's what these relationships do. Divide up the your uh, CDs. Go, my CD. What CDs are yours? And which oh, honey, are what did you do at work today? And then you harbor resentment, and that's all. That's uh, all these sexual relationships are. I can tell you this: I'm not going to have to divide up my CDs with Father McGuire because I gave <laughs> all of it to him. Aww, that's so kind of you. Yeah. You're not concerned about like you know digital scarcity and like these streaming libraries taking all your tracks away in the future? What do you mean my my tracks? Oh, they're his now. Oh, okay. It's all his. It's, it's all, all his. And that all actually makes name. it so much easier. He says if you have a job, he he's really concerned about us doing the podcast because if you podcast on, if you podcast enough to make money, you know this, then you're not focusing on on God's love enough, and so you should not, you should we should he tells us we don't. We should not have jobs. <laughs> it's an anti-work. Anti you know about the anti-work movement, right? Yes. Absolutely, the anti-woke movement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. all this woke, all this woke. Fa Father McGuire. Father McGuire? Father McGuire. Yeah, is he, is, he a, is he a woke priest or is he like a not woke priest? Very anti woke. He's very anti woke. Right, good. good. He's very anti woke. He said Jesus yeah. was dead for three days. That's not very woke. He came, came back though. For a second. And then he went up to heaven. It was I think the main storyline of the Jesus narrative is sleeping, being asleep for you know. We're not priests ourselves, so we're I, not, we we're don't not actually know the debate, scripture that well. Theology. We rely on him for it a lot. The main thing, though, is that we, we just, you know, we think it's, uh, we just can't, ha we just, <laughs> we can't get any prayer done with all this <laughs> going on. That's exactly it. That's exactly We're it. We're trying to pray tick here. Tick tick <laughs> well, I think I've said. Oh! Thanks so a great. lot. So man. great. I think all I said, all I had to say. Does he take confession? Oh yeah, yeah. That's one of the big, the major perks of sacraments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, <laughs> it saves on groceries. <laughs> you find those wafers very filling. They have to be after a certain point when you don't have any money to buy any f more food. And we are also both we, we are like very ride or die on Ozempic at the moment. Yeah, <laughs> the wafer the wafer is about all I can stomach. <laughs> Yeah. You got the plug for that? 
Yeah, yeah. Father yeah. McGuire. Father McGuire. <laughs> he got it through father. He's also a doctor. He has, he has on occasion, when we're when receiving confession, he has leaned over and said, that Ozempic's <laughs> work and wonders. It'd be a shame if you had to leave the, to leave the flock. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and it, he gives nice incentives like that. I got to know. Yeah. Which one of you is closer with the father? Okay. This is where we get into kind of murky terror. It's not fighting because we are not. We're not about that. We're else. not about that. I would Gaza. say that I'm closer. I would frankly agree. So, <laughs> but it's I mean, just just look, you know, you can see why. Just, just I'm tremendous, sh- just a tremendous <laughs> um, servant of God. Transgender life. <laughs> exactly. Just radiant with God's light, and I am. Uh, I'm more God. Let me sit like this for some God. reason. So Macy, Macy basically, Macy always also because she's an early riser, she always gets the, she gets the morning session. I have to the take worm. the late afternoon. Transgender life. <laughs> so by the end of you know the day, he's he's pretty drained. Father, father's pretty drained. So I get the drag. I can sort of get the dregs, but I'm happy to have them. I'm happy to have them. And I'm happy to drain. <laughs> Transgender life. Well, it's a wonderful. Where program. is this going? Yeah, where where is this going with Father? Like, what are your plans? Where, where are you going? You're gonna go on to a trip? To heaven. To heaven. Okay. We well, we're I mean, trying I mean, to. Have either of you ever considered uh, Protestantism? We I I uh, no because uh, I don't I don't think no it's I don't think it's real. <laughs> I don't think it's real. I think it's just a lot of woke. It's not. Yeah, yeah it's true. <laughs> I would have to agree. So. The 95 theses for like the original cancellation. <laughs> they were the original, yeah. the original t- uh, tweet I won't, thread. I won't stand for it. Yeah. It's a load of crap. The Catholic Church was the original Louis C.K. Yeah. I think, Who's yeah. great. Who's Pro- so funny. <laughs> Protestantism really is a bunch great. of woke BS. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. We don't need to get uh, into... 95 theses is what I keep saying. Well, let's continue the conversation. Uh, thank you it up for Macy Rodman and Theta Hamlet. Thank you so much for being here. We'll be right back with everyone. Thank you. Women's stories matter. matter. Ooh, I just got invited to Julia's podcast. This is unreal. That is so fire. This is so lit. Bro. You know what? You should talk about our t-shirts we've been making. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the most monetizable thing we do, and it could really take off. Yeah, 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 that's right. If you mention it. That is such a good idea. That's so fire. Wow. Ooh, damn. Wow. That podcast has so many listeners. Can I talk about my animations too, though? Yeah, of course. Awesome. I can't believe it. This could really be our way in. (laughs) I'm so happy. I have so much muscle tension in my pelvis that I can't have sex. The muscle tension is the result of years of untreated anxiety. I used to get these panic attacks when I was a teenager, so I went on this medication called Paxil, which got rid of the panic attacks, but then I couldn't have an orgasm. So I went off the Paxil, and I switched to Prozac, and then I could have an orgasm, but By then, there was so much tension in my pelvis that I couldn't have sexual intercourse. So I went to physical therapy in Midtown, where this woman would put on a plastic glove and, like, massage my labia. But then I found out my insurance wasn't covering it, so I had to stop going. Whoa, that's crazy. Thank you so much for coming on the podcast. Yeah, thanks for having me. Do you have anything to plug? I'm working on this animation about a guy whose hearing is so sensitive that atoms are too loud for him. Can I show you? Yeah. Oh, it's too loud. Please. It's too loud. That's pretty cool. Is that all? Yeah, I think that's all. This has been the Julia cast. Thanks for listening. So she was super nice. And like the podcast was really chill. I felt really comfortable the whole time. Did you mention the shirts? 
No. Oh, it skipped me, dude. It's I fine. am so sorry. It's fine. Dude, I am so sorry. I got swept up in the excitement. I didn't tell her about the shirts. Man. It's I, totally fine. I'm beating myself up right now. Fuck. Fuck, dude. Fuck, dude. That was our window. I know, man. I'm so... I am no man. I am so sorry. I literally thought of texting you while you were doing it, but I didn't want to be condescending. Whatever. I'm so sorry, dude. Dude, you never think about other people. You only have your own... You only have your own shit on your mind. You never think about anyone else. Maybe the t-shirts don't go. They don't go? I don't know. Maybe they don't slap or they don't go or something. I can't believe you'd say something like that. <sighs> We love the sensitive hearing guy. I'm so glad to hear that. Yeah, I see a series in it. You, you do? Absolutely. A whole universe. I'm so excited to hear you say that. It's exactly what we're looking for here at TBS. It's four quadrants. It's ground. It's diverse. Yes, yes. I see a lot of seasons here. Of course, we'd want to flesh it out. Right. Figure out who are the atoms. Not just who they are at an individual level. But as a society, yes, I imagine federated tribes of atoms, each with its own con right. or priest king. And there is a common currency between them, a precious gas, which is mined out of these huge belching mountains. I see. And also, there are a select few who can create the gas through meditation, and these are called the Upartar. Yeah, that all sounds really cool. Um, what about, um? There's there's something else I wanted to show you. Uh, if that's okay, it's these um, it's these T-shirts I've been making with my roommate. Okay. And they're like funny T-shirts, and we think they could be interesting. I'm sorry. What does this have to do with the atoms? Nothing. I, I mean, they could. I just bring it up because it's a different thing that you might be interested in. It's like a new idea, and it's really monetizable. That is so stupid. What? That is the stupidest idea I've ever heard. T-shirts. Yeah, funny T-shirts. No, we could never do anything with that. I don't see anything there. But what about, what about nothing? If you know what's good for you, you will drop this. Now, getting back to the Upatar, these are chosen from birth by a slug. Hey, man. Oh, hey. I didn't see you come in. Yeah, <laughs> I've just been here. How did your thing with the TBS guy go? Did he like the guy who has sensitive hearing? It was fine. It was weird. I don't think anything's going to happen with that. Hmm. That's too bad. I was working on a new shirt. Oh, yeah? Yeah, check it out. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I think that one's going to really take off. Totally. Totally. Podcasters here tonight. So we're back with, with our full panel here, everyone. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, so y'all are all movie buffs, right? Indeed, right? yes. Big movie buffs. You're always posting Love them. about movies. Can't get enough movies. Always mm -hmm. tweeting about them. You had a great St. Patrick's Day clip from uh, The Untouchables, Indeed. right? Indeed. Yeah, yeah. That was great. And you know you work in the film industry as well, and you know, oh, yeah. you're a big buff. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, I mostly work in the industry. I'm not, I mostly work in the industry. I don't concern myself with buff, buffery. You don't concern as much, right? Yeah. Wait, wait. Here we go. Here we go. Mo movie buff trivia quiz. This is, this is, this is fit for, for K Night Live. What, what movie is this quote I'm from? I set up a literal game. Okay. No, no. What's the question? Uh, now who's being naive, K? <laughs> I thought that was going to make a noise. That's off. That's kind of crazy. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what's the question? Isn't that a Hitchcock movie? No, it's from The Godfather. It's from The Godfather. Uh, from the Godfather. Uh, okay. Well, I'm going to fail at this game. <laughs> we're going to play a game. <laughs> we're going to play a game together that I like to call Let Her Box. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to read you a series of, well, you're going to read a series of letterbox reviews. They are from Will and Theta. They're 
from your accounts. We pulled them from your letterboxed account. <laughs> and uh, they're real accounts. And, uh, and, and uh, basically, you're going to see the star review. And uh, you're going to guess what the film is and also guess who wrote the review. It's an excerpt. If you get the question correct, your team, we have two teams, will get a point. If you get the question incorrect, you're going to have a sip of our cinema smoothie here. This is uh, popcorn and root beer. And the lovely Hessa is going to be here with us. Hessa, Hessa Denny. Hessa of Seeking Derangements fame is here. So I'll stand with you here. And uh, you two have a movie pod. Speaking of more podcasts, let's get another podcast involved. You have a movie, you have a film podcast coming out soon. Indeed we do. Uh, movie Mindset. 1894. Two brothers, Louis and Auguste in Lyon, France, decide to create a way to prove to each other they, that they really kissed a girl. That's how the film camera was invented. We're gonna be. We're not gonna talk about that on the podcast. We're gonna mostly talk about movies. Yeah, and I just like for anyone watching this right now, like please don't, don't, don't let my appearance on this show prejudice you against listening to Movie Mindset. I guarantee you, it, 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 it will be good. And Hess is on it. And like I said, just like don't, <laughs> don't, don't let this be like a, like a preview of the overall quality of our podcast. But uh, we're very much looking forward to it. Uh, we're doing a like a screening and a launch at the Roxy Hotel and Cinema at the end of the Wait, month. Really? Oh, so be on the lookout for that. Nice. Are you ready to play the game? Let's go. Let's get started. First question is for you. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your card, you're going to read the star rating and the review to this camera here, everybody, OK? Question number one goes to Sabrina. Uh, I, so I first I read three stars, right? Yes. It's, it's two stars. Two stars, two stars, sorry. Typo, typo, typo. I'm seeing three stars on the paper here, so mine are OK. It was camp, but not nearly gay enough. I will say this movie maintains a high pitch of hilarious awfulness throughout its entire run time, so I was entertained. And then what do I do? You guess the film. As a team? No, well, it's just you. Oh, just me, and then I'm on the line to drink this? Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> awesomeness, uh, um, uh, uh, um, tri triangle of sadness. Triangle of sadness. Let's get the answer on the screen here. Sorry, it was Batman and Robin, 1997. <laughs> Tessa, if you oh. could hand Theta a. Uh, That's a good review. Sorry. No, I have take to take a sip there. Sip it? Yeah, you can sip it. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's good. <laughs> it's actually good. Bill's so, review of Batman and Robin. Next question goes to you. Okay, three stars. Barely squeaks past 2,000, but a rule is a rule. Anything over 2,000 is a three star. All right, this is my guess here? All right, barely squeaks past 2,000. I'm gonna go Stanley Kubrick's 2001, A Space That's Odyssey. The answer on the screen. That's correct. And that's from Theta. Hey, is that's the guy. That's Theta's. Do I know movies or do I know that's movies? That's review. That's Theta's review. All right, the next question goes to Macy. I get the game now. All right, four, four stars. Another movie about how being horny drives you insane. Thankfully, this condition can be cured through processing. Uh, parentheses, iacking off. Jacking up. <laughs> oh, it says jacking off on the screen. Okay, it's maybe a scissors issue. All women writing staff. <laughs> Time's running out. Uh, the conformist. The Conformist, let's get the answer on the screen. It's The Master, 2012. Oh, Sorry, and you're going to have to take a sip there. Oh, yeah, Hess has got it for you there. Oh, you're on your glasses. All right. 
Next question goes to Robin. Uh, one star, 10 is small, smaller than 13. One of the smallest numbers out there. Was this movie made by an infant? A child could count this number. Have not, nor will not watch. Can you guess what the movie is? Is the movie 10? It's 10. Yeah. The 10. <laughs> we'll accept, we'll accept that. We'll accept uh, that. I, th I thought it was only with uh, Derek and That's uh, Dudley Smith. That's two points Smith, uh, for the right team. Dudley Moore. Yes. All right. So no cinema smoothie over here yet. That's great. This is for Carly. Okay. All right. Three stars. Great hotel. <laughs> All right. Um, What are we thinking? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Best exotic marigold hotel. Best exotic marigold hotel. <laughs> Sorry, that's actually. <laughs> Sorry, that's uh. That's uh. That's actually my review of Elvis. Um. Yes. Sorry. That. And that's gonna be a sit for Carly. How would I do? For real. <laughs> You've got the next question. Okay. <clears throat> Three stars, <laughs> not bad. In my honest opinion, anything above 2,000 at is at least a three star. Sadly, I have not seen, as I am no fan of Mr. Cusack. Um, I think I know the answer. I think I'm gonna go with Space Odyssey. <laughs> Uh, 2000, what? 2001 A Space Audience. Sorry, it's 2012. Uh, Hesse, if you could get Faria our Damn, series. I feel like that was a trick. <laughs> we gotta get the questions. All right, next question for Theta. We gotta, we gotta move a little quicker here. Oh, these here we go, are, okay, here we go. Rapid fire. How many are there? There's more. Uh, <laughs> Four stars. I love what an absolute bimbo McConaughey's character in this is. And that has got to be um, that movie where he uh, lost a lot of weight. <laughs> that would be a funny joke answer, but is it Magic Mike? Magic Mike, it's Contact, oh, 1997. We can't do anything right. Take another sip of our... All right. For you, Will. Five stars. Now we're talking, not just one, but millions, plural, have not seen this one, but this was on the top of my list for sure. Uh, Slumdog Millionaire? Oh, sorry, it's oh, Millions, no. 2004. We're gonna have to take a sip of our cinema smoothie here. Uh, too bad, too bad. All right, Macy, next question goes to you. Three stars, this guy stinks at being a knight. Green Knight. The Green Knight. It's the Green oh. Knight. Yes, Will Menneker's review. All right, Robin. Uh, three stars. Now, this is the kind of flick I can get behind. While it's no millions, 10,000 is certainly a number with some heft to it, and I enjoyed the trailer. That said, I did not manage to catch this one in theaters or home video. <laughs> mm, I think What's the answer. Is it uh, 10,000 BC? It's 10,000 BC, that's correct. <laughs> no, all right, four stars. You call, you call yourself a man? You know you're a lying, low-life, motherfucking, gambling, degenerate prick. <laughs> you know that's what you are? Two small kids at home? I gave you money to pay the fucking rent, buy groceries, put the heat on. You know your wife called Frankie and told him the fucking heat's off? Huh? And you sit here telling me you didn't gamble that fucking money? No, no, you didn't. Don't fuck with me, Al. Don't make a fuck out of me. You want to embarrass me, make a fool out of me? You didn't gamble? Tell me you gambled the fucking money and I'll give you the fucking money to put the fucking heat on. Did you gamble? What's the film? Casino. 
It's Casino. That's correct. And I believe, I believe we have one more for free. I don't have the card in me, but if we could get it up on the screen. There you go. Could you read that for me? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. It's just right here on the screen. It can barely be called a number. Mr. Carey, fuck you. What's the film? I'm going to go ahead and I consult it with my team. I'm quite confident that it is the number 23. It's the number 23. Whoa. All right, now. Now it's time for the big finale. Uh, we are very excited about Succession airing tomorrow on HBO Max. And we love, we love Logan. Uh, and we're calling it Logan's Run. Logan's Run. So we're, they're calling it Logan's Run. Uh, so we found, I found this novelty account. We have a screenshot. Uh, Logan Roy. You can follow him now. He's reviewed a few, few films. So these are all from Logan Roy himself. Real account. You can look it up. Um, so you can the entire team can come together and, and get a guess. So let's get the first uh, let's get the first one for this team here. Oh, this is the uh, this is the film that's playing in my head right now. Yeah, the film that's playing in your head right now. Sorry, it's the Gray Man, 2022. <laughs> okay, about over to y'all. Next one. Fuck off. One star. Oh, and we take a guess. Yeah. Let's see. Um, uh, Bridges of Madison County. Morbius. Okay. Oh, no. It's Morbius. Back to you. Uh, just like I f fuck off. Oh yeah, we got the next question up on the screen. Oh, oh there's only two. All right. Well, <laughs> you all lose the game. Basically, you all lose the game, and I'll take some of it too. Cassie Denny, once again, that was Let Her Box. We'll be right back. Let's keep it where it was. I just Bless don't. me. Well, <laughs> it's not really. It's on camera, funny. so later I'll, I'll get you. Um. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Sorry, come I in, come in. What Ian's is... going to be filming. Is that cool? I mean, we're making a bunch of Did she tell you about this? About the yeah. 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 Well, I'm going to go around asking people how they cool. made themselves like not like sad and shit. The exercise helps a lot. I've like actually hey, tried meditating. Hey, my mom? <laughs> Should I ask you later? No, no, no. Um, sorry. Uh, no, it's cool. I get it. I'm texting people all the time. Yeah. Well, you Texting know, it was guys. really hard. I'm so sorry. One second. Okay. I just want to like, ask yeah. him. I'm yeah. like yeah. live action role playing, like LARPing. Sure. Like we learned a bunch of LARPs. Knights Realms. You got this. You got it. You never go out and socialize, you'll never meet people. Okay, well, here I am. So, but here you are. Trying to meet a knight today. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, yeah. With that in mind, a moment of silence for this episode of K9 Live, just for fun, shall we? Everybody uh, close your eyes and we're going to do a little guided meditation. Take a big deep breath in, deep breath out, we're going to drone to the sea. Sometimes you spend a lot of work putting a TV show together. And sometimes there are numerous technical errors which get in the way of the run of the show. <laughs> but nevertheless, it's important to remember that Kay organized this entire thing all by herself. <laughs> and so I wanted everybody to take a second and speak the, the sacred words. Which, what was the name of the priest that, the, that they were talking about? Father McGuire taught me. Father McGuire. Just for K. This is called incantation. <laughs> okay. Incantation for K. 
And it goes a little something like this. Repeat after me. Here we go. I'm going to say it, and then you guys say it. Okay, you are my guiding light. I think about you every night. <laughs> When I turn the lights down low, when I turn the lights down low, I think of you, girl, now you know. I think of you, girl, now you know. And when I turn the lights back on, and when I turn the lights back on, I think about you with this song. I think about you. The spiders will be tormenting me in my dreams. The spiders <laughs> will be tormenting me in my dreams. The wolves will be chasing me in my dreams. The wolves will be chasing me in my dreams. The spiders and the wolves will make us hybrid. The spiders and the wolves <laughs> will make a wolf spider hybrid. And we're good. Thank you so much. Round of applause for Kay and for Ryan. Once again, Robin Hatch.
give it up for Robin Hatch, everybody. Thank you so much. That's our show. Thank you for being here. We're having a really nice, it's absolutely incredible. It's what, it's, it's, what? Hello, okay. Hello. Hi, Zach and Allie. Well, yeah. 100%. That's how that's it. What are you doing here? What, well, well, agree more? We're here on your, you know, that's it. Yeah. I don't understand. Nail in the coffin, hit the nail on the head. And needle in the haystack, that's you. I, I, what are, what? Miriam Webster. What? Wikipedia. <laughs> I'm looking at Wikipedia. And I'm just I saying, am you're on the nose, and on the, and if I had a nose job, you'd be on my nose. <laughs> right on there. And I'm, what exactly is going on here? What are you doing here? It's me hitting the nail on the Boom. head. Boom. Coffin. Right. Close, yeah. close the coffin. So this is New the, life begins. This is the closing of the show. We're trying to finish the show out here. Or is it the beginning? Or is it, by the way, on by the way, the opening up to love, so. <laughs> I am actually open to love. Finding your perfect mate. It's Finding actually been really hard lately. Right. So, <laughs> is that what this is about? No. So why, what are you why, doing here? Tell well, me what you're doing here. Why haven't you been responding to, to our, our messages? messages? Wait a minute. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, seems like everyone's are a little, you? Oh, everyone's a a little sort of are, privy to some sort of epiphany, something. Some sort of EPY, epiphany. Are you with the FBIE? No. No. <laughs> Who has been texting me from the FBIE? You've left something out. You've forgotten something You've left something crucial. on the table. It's the FBPIE. 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 Oh, FBPI. FBPI. oh, Frederick Burroughs Pie Company. company. Yeah. You're you're from the Frederick. We're from the Frederick. We're from the Frederick, Frederick, Frederick Borough Pie, Pie Company. Company. You're bakers. We're bakers. Yes. We're actually Where British bakers. Where did this bakers. come from? What? We're actually British. I have felt what? I have felt naked. All I've actually been in disguise this whole I time. Felt, I have oh, felt oh, completely oh, naked. Oh, 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 where's my at? I don't feel natural. That you don't have an at. Oh, I don't know where it went. You don't have an at because you're blonde. If I don't have a baker's hat, I can't do my job. I have an at because I'm Jewish. I don't understand. So you're a pie company. Well, Kate, well, with you at Frederick Burr Eye Company, yeah. You're acting like you don't know who we are, but you actually got you a came pie into from our us. Shop. You, you, came, you came into our shop. You came, you came into our shop. You came into our shop and you bought a pie and you left it you on had the one, counter. By the way, and you, something interesting, you had one slice to stay. Yeah. O S T S. One slice to stay. And then you bought. And then you left a full pie on the counter. So F P O R T. Well, it was FP to G. F you F ordered to a full pie, pie to go. go. FP to G. But I, you left it so on, on the I, counter. I, I had a slice of OS, pie. OSTS, I came FP into, to G. I came into your shop in England. Yes, you can. London, Liverpool. London, and, and, <laughs> and I ordered well, we, a, we brought you back London, to Liverpool. I ordered a slice of pie to stay. Nottingham. And then I, <laughs> and then I ordered a... I know every Beatle. A full pie to go. Shortage. You did, and you left it on the window sill. Shortage. Did, I don't understand. Ice cold you, you pie. And, and, it, should, it should be room and, and temperature. And room temperature. It's probably sort of chill, but now it's ice cold because you. It was. It was. It was. You know, a very cold. Do you era. have any idea how much dry ice we had to get on the plane? We had to get through security with we, TSA, hundreds, I hundreds mean, of dry ice. Hundreds well, what, of dry well, what ice. What kind of pie is it? What? What kind of pie is it? Uh, cream, we, cream. Cream pie. pie. Uh -huh. CP. CP. I ordered, a, I ordered a full cream pie to go. Oh, by the and, way, a, a, and, oh, FCP, and we have it here. Full cream pie. And we have it here, and TSA tried to tell us that it's liquid, so we got it extra hard. You all be so, there. but when you go out there, it's Why all dry there ice out there. I mean, it is complete, here, you're not, it's a toxic hazard completely. So you're that's the pie that I ordered in England after having a single slice of pie. Yes, what three years this, ago. What kind of? And we go, we're going to be invoicing you for our tickets. Well, We're going to be able to for our tickets for our and for all the time travel. since you ordered this pie. Salary. <laughs> I mean, I'm accepting. The, I'm not rejecting the pie. I'm not rejecting the pie. Okay, so we'll take why it don't then. you just place the pie right here right, on I'm gonna the put, table? I'm going to put the pie on the platform. You're going to put the pl pie right here on the table. OTP. Put the pie on the platform. OTP. OTP. On the platform. OTP. OTP. Put the pie on the platform. POTP. Pie on the platform. Well, why don't warm? Wait a who minute. Who gets to eat? But uh, who gets to eat the pie? Is well, she she's gonna place the pie right here on the table. We'll slice then, it alphabetically with everyone in the room. And then slice it up, and we're gonna give slice. <laughs> so everyone get in an we're alphabetical gonna, line. Anybody know the alphabet? <laughs> anybody know it? You don't have anything to cut it up with. You don't have a. I have a I have a, a pie knife under my desk, like I always do. I, 
I and, have to get uh, this on the platform. It's yeah. not. It's going to heat up in my hand and, and not be the yeah, right temperature. Pee, pee, my hand pee. is really hot. So you know. Well, why don't you just put it right here? Why don't you well, just put it right here? You can just wait, put wait, it right wait, here. wait, wait. I, I just remember something. Well, we, there's a lot of, uh, people have a lot of allergies these days. I, you know, I'm, you know so the, <laughs> is anyone here? Anyone here not eat pistachio or something of the like? Woo, tree nut. What? Mm. That's your fault. <laughs> you should have done something like that, get a pie. shot or something like that. So you can't have this pie. You're not included if in this. If you the, have you know, allergies and you go somewhere, okay, anybody a not shot. eat pork? Forget about it. Get out of here. <laughs> you should be giving yourself a shot before anybody you go not eat pork. I don't eat pork. Feeling alone in this space, so. Okay, well now. Well, I have to put the pie on the platform. We just want to make sure: is this a personal expense or a business expense, <laughs> or how does how does this factor into the show? It was Did three years ago. Producer's discretion. So, uh, to the the likes of you, you can sort of. Could we put the plane tickets on? Peacock. I mean, April 15th. Do you subscribe around. to Peacock, Hulu, Peacock. Netflix? Peacock. 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 Jean Luc. I, um, I pay for my Peacock account with my Peacock, Peacock. my production card. Okay, <laughs> if you had a boyfriend, uh, you wouldn't be ordering full pies delivered to your show. Is that correct? Probably. Is that true, accurate? Yeah. yeah. Wow, really sad, really sad. <laughs> that didn't go over well at all. I definitely well, feeling bad for the brand. We let people just, eat these pies when they're happy, not well, why you, Listen, yeah, we've, we've, we've figured it's a brand out. For people. Brand listen, for give, give I'm her sick the of this. Pie. Why don't you place the pie, the pie okay, on gonna, the table give you the pie. so that I'm we can the pie. Pie on the platform. Pie on the platform. Thank you. P-O-T-P. And now the pie is just here on the table, and now we can enjoy it. All right. Okay. Tree nuts. I'm cool with that situation. I'm fine with that as well. You know what? My arms are actually really tired. Uh... This might seem like a strange request, but would you mind possibly feeding me a bite of the pie? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. I just, of course, I'm just, I don't have the best um, motor skills because I work so hard in the, don't, um, if you could, um, if you can meet me up, what? Yeah. Yeah. yeah don't burp me. Oh, she wants yeah, to be get, part of something. Get, get Carly. She wants to be a part of something. <laughs> sure, I, I just want to be clear. My arms aren't so tired anymore, and I can pass it to you now. The, the, this woman does not have training at our pie shop, so... Can't hey, Mommy, can I give you a bite of the pie, too? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. more the merrier. Will it... Okay. Will it well, can you do it over here, though, because I don't want to... I think you have. Why don't you pass it over to him, and then we can pass it back. Yeah. Okay. And we can pass so it back over this way. I I feel that if, if people in the room could understand the the, the, the releasing your art from your hands is something. It's and watching it take on new life is really. My arms aren't so tired. Right, oh, 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 Sorry, oh, 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 does anyone have some sort of raft we can put the pie down? Right. I don't see what the cantina band music's for. All right, Zach, get, get the pie. Well, get yeah. the pie into into Kay's mouth well, safely. Uh, hold the pie. Oh, okay. I'm just, holding the pie. Kay, just hold the oh, pie. I'm holding the, hold the, hold the pie. pie. I, my arms aren't tired. Are anymore. you feeling safe? I'm feeling fine. Can I have a bite. Okay. Ravishing. Cream pie to the face. CPT. That's our show, everyone. Thank you, Kay. For Macy Rodman and Theta Hamill. Thank you. Robin Hatch, Maria Khan, Ali and Zach. I wish you could see my laugh right now.
eye. It's in my eye. Fully in my eye right now. So.